Hello everybody and welcome back to I Cast Your Freaking Awesome Replays. Uh, this is the Interpretive Dance Challenge 2.0, uh, where the players, of course, do choose a song, a genre, and then represent that in their strategy, which is about as stupid as it can get, but I mean, it leaves a lot open to their creative interpretations. In the top left, we have a uh, scratched out and unreadable barcode. So this is the uh, <laughs> the one that you're trying to scan over and over at the supermarket and it won't register. In the bottom right, we have Cylinder. Now Cylinder at the start said, let's dance. And uh, apparently our broken barcode here, our unreadable Terran opponent did say tango. Let's tango. Let's go. Let's get that nice, rather, uh, rather uh, saucy, saucy dance going, the tango. Cylinder, though, on the other hand, is going to be going with the dance monkey. Love that song, Dance Monkey. Ah, uh, a connoisseur there, a fan of the Australian artists. And that essentially is a song that's just about dancing. I mean, it's just like, hey, let's see you dance. Get up and dance, right? <laughs> that is literally all it is. Um, so I imagine Solinda is going to be trying to spam dancing units in the opponent's face. Now, I imagine our unreadable barcode here. I'm just going to call him unreadable from now on. I imagine unreadable actually is not playing the challenge. It's just a ladder opponent. It was like, oh, you said let's dance. All right, let's tango. Cool. Why not? But uh, yeah, I doubt I doubt there's actually gonna be. I mean, how would you even represent a tango? Like, that's not even a song name, and that would be kind of weird. <laughs> I'm like, I'm thinking about the physicality of like people tangoing and kind of like I'm like I, I don't I don't know if you can represent an actual dance so much as uh, try and dance your units to a song or a category or something like that. For now, factory does go up on the high ground. Unreadable, not building anything out of the barracks. This is a very Florencio-esque opening so far. Only nine workers on minerals, so a little low on the SCVs there. So Linda, though, just chilling, doing a bit more of a normal opening on the Zerg side of things. And this guy looks like a cheeky bugger. Is this a Florencio wannabe? What do we got? A second factory on the way. That looks like he wants to build a command center up there. Right? I think he's going to do a planetary in the corner. Unreadable being a bit of a D-bag, potentially. Cylinder so going to hide a drone down here at the third base. Ling speed is on the way. Two queens are starting up. Six Zerglings building. And one more drone. Now, this drone going way out of the way to hide. I think hoping that the Reaper doesn't spot it. And maybe also looking for any delayed proxy barracks. Uh, that drone will be going back. Not going to take the third base. Okay. All right. All right. Just being, being super careful here. What's that? An armory. Okay, so... We've got one base double factory mech with an armory here for unreadable. Not a s Okay, so the first marine is now going to be built. We've got a Hellion built. Is it just going to be blue flame hellbats? I think it is. I, I, I'm actually thinking it definitely will be now. Uh, Zerglings are scouting for Cylinder. Does actually go up there. Maybe saw the SCV, but didn't seem to notice it. So Linda's like, what is going on in this game? My opponent's on one base. is trying to kill up more queens right now to add some safety, but I think it's a little uh, confused. Comes in and sees the armory, though. A lovely Overlord sacrifice is going to check out what's up. Now, I haven't seen any dancing just yet from Salinda. Come on. Come on. You got to do the dance, Mike. Oh, we're seeing a Thor. What the fudge? <gasps> one base Thor? What league is this? One base Thor. Wow. 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 Uh, <laughs> multiple gases on the way here for Cylinder. A single Hellion and a Marine poking through the middle of the map. This is the strangest pressure at four minutes that I've ever seen. Uh, just so you guys know, you could have an expansion up with like six SCVs and have four Hellions over here at this time. But it's one Hellion and one Marine pushing back a few legs. Two Thors coming up behind it. That one actually just starting now. This Overlord barely gets touched and gets back to the back corner and cylinder's just chilling making double evo chain but maybe not the most important thing to get upgrades to take down thors but unreadable is just going to take an expansion it's four four minutes 20 in the game and is like why not one hell that <laughs> what is <laughs> two marines a thor and a helbat he's just gonna wait for the other thor and then push across the bat what's the bet this is a two thor push literally shows the thor to the overlord so Linda, though apparently not giving an f is just floating an insane amount of money he's building only zerglings i mean if there was a decent number of hellbats that would be really hard the scvs are coming they're trying to repair this scv but 
Uh, this Hellbat, sorry, but the Hellbat just keeps moving. Thor's going to go into single fire target mode. Spine's building right now. No Roach Warren. Uh, is going to make this probably harder than it needs to be. I mean, Zergling's kicked the crap out of Thor's, though. So I think it should be enough. But Solinda's not really spending the money right now. His supply blocked. Oh, my God. Over a thousand minerals just sitting in the bank. And he's going for a bailing nest right now. Uh, okay, we've got Thor's there. eBay is on the way. So Unreadable still has not built that corner expand that I thought was coming. I don't think it's going to. There's going to be a lot of SCVs to repair, but... A lot of Zerglings and a Spine. 1-1 one, one upgrades are on the way. Solinda has a ton of lava not being spent right now. These units going in a few at a time. And Solinda is going to have to get a good surround and get rid of that Hellbat nice and fast. It's just not that many Lings, is it? He's going to get a good surround on that Thor in the back. The Hellbat, the SCVs. Why are the SCVs not repairing that Thor? They were just repairing this guy from the Queen's damage. Thor does go down. Number one, 18 more Zerglings on the way right now. Ah, uh, Solinda with 1,300 minerals in the bank, unable to spend this. This single Thor, Hellbat and SCV Gang are actually doing some pretty sick damage, but another Link's around on the Thor. Thor's not good versus Zerglings. The Hellbat only fighting one Link at a time. This Hellbat, you did not do your job at all. You were meant to support the Thors, you silly billy. And uh, Solinda's barely gonna hang on. What's so hilarious about this is, if it was just one Thor, but there was four Hellions, I actually think Solinda like, might straight up die. Dropping mules to repair. Are we kidding? Oh my god, Solinda just hasn't been injecting. There's so little lava. Oh, will this wave of Zerglings do it? The Thor! 60 hit points, but he's killing them all! Oh, it's shooting the Queen, though. It needs to kill the Zerglings. Oh my god. This Thor is killing everything. Oh my god, Solinda is just... <laughs> oh my God. And he's trying to build spines in front of it. The Thor, though, is the stupidest unit in the game. He's going to try and shoot overlords over these. Okay, finally, because there's nothing else in aggro range, kills two of the spines that are building. Oh my God, this is the saddest defense I've ever seen. There's eight lava just not being spent. Solinda keeps staring at the fight. Oh my God. Uh, um, I, 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 I haven't seen any dancing yet, guys. I've seen a lot of monkey from Solinda. No dancing. <laughs> this is... This is... He's got the symbols. He's... Oh my god, he's losing all of his workers. Another mule drops to repair. Finally. Finally it goes down. And the citizen's arrest is complete on the Thor. But not before taking absolutely insane damage. Oh my god. And he's now starting one, two upgrades and Bane's... Build drones! You're gonna rebuild your economy money. Why are we making an infestation pit right now? Oh my god. Oh, this is so funny. I love the priorities. It's like, all right, I barely survived that attack. I've only got like 18 workers, not even one base. I need to make plus two carapace and baneling speed right now. <laughs> all righty then. Uh, Overlord there. Oh, back to the pillar. Nicely done. But the barracks says, unashamed pervert calls up the Thor and says, I know where the sneaky pervert is. The barracks an expert on floating through the bases. Um, now, there is a Thor up there with some SCVs just constantly following it to repair. It's a good number of Zerglings that can come in. Remember the Thor, it massively overkills with its two, its two times 30 damage attacks. So 60 damage, way more than is needed to kill Zerglings. Uh, the SCVs, oh my god, it's going to die. Is it going to die? I think it's going to die. Oh, they're focusing the SCVs though. The Thor's still alive. I think he could have killed that Thor, but... Oh, Thor is going to back off and abandon the mineral line. What a pansy. Lings get a bunch more SCVs, so it is 31 drones to 21. More Zerglings are on the way here for Cylinder, who is uh, building some creep, some third base, some Ling Bane tech. I kind of worry for Cylinder because Terran's making Thors, and if they get enough of them, they'll win. The problem is 24 SCVs. There is almost no economy on both sides of this map. Uh, Terran does have a third command center, but isn't using it. And Infestors and Neural Parasite are on the way. I mean, if there's a way to hard counter the Thor... It is Neural Parasite. They don't have, like, tanks covering them or anything like that. Neural is just going to absolutely diddle them. It is going to destroy them. So that's going to be a big bummer. Blue Flame is now on the way here. And uh, unreadable. If, I mean, you get a few Hellions out, it'll be good. But building them off Tech Lab Barracks is awfully, awfully inefficient. Uh, Ling's thinking about going in for an attack right now. So Linder is building more Queens. And uh, mostly just chilling, not really, uh, okay. Droning is coming in. The Thor's for some reason going into the main, abandoning the natural. What are they doing? What are they doing? The Lings are gonna come in and bust this wall, dude. Oh my God, okay. All right, uh, the Hellions and Thor's are there. So the Lings do need to pull back. So Linda does decide to back on off. 
And uh, there we go. Burrow is on the way as well. And it's, I mean, it's it's almost double the work account. So Zerk has a lot more money. And uh, Terran is not really dropping mules right now either. But slowly working up to four gases. I mean, this is truly peak StarCraft right now, guys. Um, I'm, I'm really wishing I, I knew more about the song Dance Monkey, but I'm pretty sure it's just about dancing. And so far, all I see is monkey. So, um... <laughs> I guess it's just... <laughs> Uh, dance, monkey. Throw throw that poo. Smash those symbols together. Uh, we'll see exactly where it goes from here. Burrow on the way. I mean... Wait, wait, wait. Thors have a dance animation, don't they? Don't Thors have a dance... No. No, 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 no. If Celinda neuroparasites the Thors and then makes them dance... That would be some true, true puppetry of your opponent. That would be absolutely the ultimate BM thing you could do. Just shit on your opponent and make fun of them is just to do that. If you can neuroparasite their main fighting unit, all of them in a fight, tell them to forward slash dance, then that would actually uh, do very, very well. <laughs> Uh, plus one armor upgrade is on the way. Going to be very good versus the Zerglings. A fourth command center, because that's definitely what you'd need right now. The building placement in the main, kind of kind of triggering triggering me a little bit, but it is what it is. And Selinda does now have a third base up as well. The Lingbane running around this map. Queen's kind of maxing out on energy here. Um, crazy good creep spread. How many infestors? Is it just the three? Okay, so it's these three infestors. Each of them, though, has so much energy. They're actually even going to have a second Neuroparasite in about 30, 40 seconds. And what have we got? So the Terran army has grown from two Thors to two Thors. But there's five aliens and two Vikings now. Next level progression in the macro here for Unreadable. Uh, went for a one base Thor push into the slowest macro of all time. Okay, here we go. Neuroparasite. Wait, wait, the Overseer. Okay, the Overseer is going to perv. Sees where the Thors are. Selinda! Go, 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 go! Where's the Neural? Why are we so... Go, 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 go! Okay. Oh, look at that. The tentacles come in. The Hellions are going to try and kill the... Oh, they get one. They break one. They break one. He says, dance, monkey, dance. And he's using... Oh, my God. The ultimate BM, Selinda, stealing the Thor. Wait, wait. You got you to do it again, buddy. Stop typing. And you got to make them dance. Oh, my God. Why aren't you doing more? Do more Neuroparasite! Come on! Oh my god, he does one more. Oh my god, that Thor kills the other Thors. He's killing his own SCVs now. This is kind of glorious. He's got one more neural here as well. Selinda so saying, dance monkey. I mean, that's pretty, pretty BM. I love it. I love it. It's disgusting. Um, unreadable here with no other units popping out this whole time. Has just not been building anything. Is trying to erect a planetary with the Zerglings on top of it. <laughs> Cancel lift! Cancel! Cancel! So stupid! <laughs> oh my god. And another one there is like, hmm, maybe this one will get up. Celinda's like, yeah, I'll let you live for now. Runs away rather than just killing the base, which, by the way, is one hit point from burning. If you get this below 33.3% repeater hit points, then it will burn. It needs to get to 499. It's on 500. It is one hit point free of that. Now, the Vikings have killed a single Overlord. Um, a tank has come out and rallied to the low ground. We've got mass Baneling coming in, which is the worst possible thing against siege tanks on a wall. But, well, first of all, there's a hole in the wall. Oh my god, the planetary! They're not even clicking on it! it the planetary literally blows up enough Banelings next to it that it accidentally dies as a result. Mass mule drops. Vikings, do you see what's going on? Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. More infestors are coming over right now. Um, okay, is going to seal the hole in that wall, but it's still very fragile, this wall off. And the, the depots are so clumped. Ouchies. This is not going to do well. Vikings do see this attack coming. There's two Thors as well. I mean, two tanks, two Thors, and a wolf. is building a bunker, which is hilarious because there's nothing to put inside it. Oh my god, the Baelings! Are they going to be... Oh my god, your parasites, the siege tanks. Oh, that is ridiculous. Both tanks, both Thors, all of them have been stolen. The Vikings land and actually take a whole lot of bailing hits. The Thors and tanks are being told to kill each other a little bit, but all those neuroparasites are about to wear off. The Ling Bane's going to come forward, but these infestors are actually getting diddled right now. Ooh, one infestor falls. I think they've got enough for one more neural there. A tentacle. You can see that one went... Oh, God, it went right into his back door. 
Oh god, a tentacle in the back door. That is some real... I guess that's literally how you use a puppet, right? Just... <laughs> sh <laughs> shove it right in there and you're like, Oh, my name's Mr. Thor. GG, well played, Cylinder. Um, here's a tip. Make a roach roar next time, buddy. <laughs> I've never seen a two Thor push be such a struggle to hold against, especially with no Hellbat support. Um, I mean, even you don't even need it, right? Even just mass lings would have done it if the injects were going down. But uh, GG, well played, Solinda, and well done. Uh, because yes, you, you knew parasite of those units. I, I'm not sure if you could have danced them, but good enough. Good enough. Well done for game one. All right, straight into map number two. Up here in the top left, we have BD Energy. Smoked Gooder saying good luck, have fun. HP Office Jet says U2, which I'm going to imagine means U2 the band. It's a beautiful day. Uh, no doubt is 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 what <laughs> Office Jet HP Office Jet named after a printer, by the way, amazing. But Smoked Gooder says when a man loves a woman. Damn, one of my favorite, favorite songs. Um, I can't actually remember who it was who did the original When a Man, When a Man Loves a Woman, but damn, good song. And um, HP Office Jet's like, what? Why are, you, why are you saying this? I'm pretty sure this one's been submitted by Smoked Gooder, guys. He's going to go for... Is that... Oh, uses an extractor to stack two drones inside of each other. See, it's a thick drone. And uh, he's building a spawning pool behind this. So he's going to try and sneak on past the probe and into that base. Now, when a man loves a woman... Oh my god, HP Office Jet is into it. It's like, I freaking love it. Who doesn't love that song? Is there anyone out there who's like, I hate that song. It's the worst. Men shouldn't love women. It's fucked up. Um, oh, oh, he's gonna see. He sees the he sees the drone split off. What's the bet? He, he sees it again. That was a terrible split off by Smoked Gooder. But I don't think Office Jet was paying attention because the drone gets into the sort of the corner of the bay, builds a hatchery. When a man loves a woman, he proxy hatches her mane. Like what? Okay, don't worry. We'll save the interpretation for a bit later. For now, let's just talk about the strategy. Drones coming around, sees the expand and everything. He's gonna build another hatchery up there. Uh, office Jet. Let's go to HP Office Jet's camera. You've seen a drone into your base, split off. What are you trying to do? Oh my god, he's trying to figure out how to wall off. This is the, the worst wall off ever. It's already got a pylon in the middle of it. That's a two space wall. That's a huge opening. This is the worst wall off I've ever seen in my life. And HP Office Jet is so focused on that that HP has not actually realized where did those drones go? Look at this, it's spending so much time staring at the front, building a zealot and a shield battery. Oh no. Oh no. Wait! Oh, he spotted it! He spotted it! Okay, the units did spot it accidentally. But he's like, wait a second. Um, not building any units right now is HP Office Jet. Nothing is happening. He's just staring at the front of the base. What are you doing? And then queues up probes? Finally, a zealot starts up! Okay, I think, honestly, I know the problem. This is something you see in a lot of Protoss players because they're the one race that doesn't control group their gateway. In the early game, they're like, oh, I need to go click on my gateway to build units. <laughs> I do like the forge. It's going to go batteries and cannons here. A full wall off for now. Not a bad idea. There's a hatchery there. Has has HP Office Jet realized the hatchery in the main base? Though? There's a lot of creep on the minimap in the main. Has HP realized? I have no idea. Scrolls in there. There's creep on the left of your screen, buddy. Surely you're going to realize at this point. Why is there creep in my main base? What is going on? Why is there creep in my main base? Oh my god. Okay, cannon's going down at the front of the natural. So Ergling's gonna kill the cybercorp. Cannons should keep the natural safe. Where were the spines building? The spines building in the main and a queen spreading creeper there. Oh my god. HP off HP is in big trouble. Smoke gooder. I don't know if this is what happens when a man loves a woman. I don't know how this is that song at all. The whole point is when, when a man loves a woman, she can't do no wrong, right? You know, if his friend says anything bad about her, then like, you know, he's going to like hate that friend and stuff like that's like, that's the lyrics of the song, man. Come on. Like, <laughs> I don't understand who's, who's the man, who's the woman and who's, who's loving who? Cause this is, this is just straight up dirty cheese. That's all this is. Are you, are you making fun of, of male female relations in the in the, the 1960s when that song was around and dudes were really creepy as all hell like I don't know man this is some abusive Hollywood 
shit right here. Uh, this is some, oh, I don't know, some strange shit going on. Either way, lots of spines in the main, taking out the gas. HP office jet is like, lol, what the fuck? Well played. You're winning. You know you're winning, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, Smoke Good is like, what the fuck? I think, I mean, at any point, if Smoke Good had just built cannons in the main, right? Or, you know, spent the money, built five gateways up in the main, something like that. But just not paying attention. Comes in, does Smoke Gooder. And um, I'm not... When a man loves a woman... I, I don't know! You guys in the comments, tell me what I'm missing here. How is this strategy when a man loves... Oh, because spine crawlers look like dicks? Is that the... That's the whole joke, isn't it? It's because spines look like dicks. Jesus Christ. Well done, Smoke Gooder. On to the next one. All right, straight into map number three. And one base, Alan in the bottom right says, Disco Inferno. <laughs> Levity in the top left is our terror player. It's a TVT. He says, good luck, have fun. What is that? And one base, Alan says, it's a good song, mate. I love the name one base, Alan. So probably human name Alan, and explains their strategic breadth and depth in their name. Sweet, what kind of music is that? Well, uh, it's the kind where uh, things burn, baby burn. Disco Inferno, of course. Uh, that's basically all I can think of from that song. It's... <laughs> oh, Disco Inferno. Yeah, that's what he said, Disco Inferno. I saw disc. He thought it was Disc Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, yeah, okay, I think we're gonna see Hellions and Hellbats. I think, if you think about it, um, like, Battle Cruisers and Liberators, when they kill units, they actually burn. Even though it doesn't look as fiery, you see their, their bodies kind of burn down, right? Um, nothing cooler than, like, an Ultralisk getting burnt, right? But this is TVT. Um, Hellions, of course, are the main one. For those who don't know Hellions, because they shoot in a line. So, depending on the map, uh, I'm not sure if any of these trees are flammable. But we used to have it on a lot of maps with like palm trees and like the real standard assets. Like, I'm not sure if any of these burn. Um, if you'd be like, there's an enemy unit here, a Ling, a Hellion there, you'd shoot it. The splash damage would actually ignite the tree on the map and then burn it down slowly, which was always really cool. And then it was just like a burnt husk of a tree. So uh, definitely I'm thinking Hellions are what we're probably going to be heading for. Now, One Base Island immediately goes Reactor Factory on One Base. Okay, this is going to be the fastest ever Hellions that we've ever seen. And uh, Levity, I mean, is thinking, cool, it's a disco song. This guy's talking. Let's, I mean, normally if someone's talking to me at the start of the game, I would probably be like, this mother truck is cheesing me. Levity's going to send out an SCV, but it's very late in the game. I mean, this is the sort of SCV scout that, like, runs into a Reaper just outside your base and goes, oh, no. My opponent's built a Reaper at a normal timing, and I didn't see anything, but... <laughs> Apparently, when you're hanging out in one base island in Levity's uh, league, you can get across the map because everybody goes reactor first. Um, okay, yeah, this is actually a good... This is actually reasonably well refined for one base island. Gets the second gas, mines from it enough to get two factories started, and then just pulls off it. Why? Because Hellions only cost minerals. Just needs enough gas to start the reactor, the tech lab, the second factory, and then is going to swap this factory over and start Blue Flame. Now, you don't want to swap the barracks and the factory necessarily immediately because you don't want that SCV to see the second factory land there. One Base Island, of course, is a large brain player who shows the second factory to Levity right in front of their scout. Oh, my God. <laughs> you think if your whole strategy relies on running in one of the light harassment units and burning their workers to death, you would kind of hide it? One base, Alan's like, nah, I don't need to do that. Why would I do it that, man? Uh, Levity's building tanks. Levity should be totally fine against this. I mean, two Reapers do lose to two Hellions, so if he doesn't pull a few SCVs or something, maybe he's in trouble, but he's even got a Marine to back it up. He'll be fine against the first two Hellions. The next two, though, right behind it. Hellions pump out very quickly. Needs to get that tank out and sieged up. Hellions running into the base. Levity, no wall off. is going to make this way harder against the Hellions than it needs to be. Uh, the Reapers do try to run back for some reason. Levity does start to kill these Hellions, but uh-oh, more Hellions here. Ooh, bit of splash damage, but Marine's doing okay. I think Levity over microing maybe, but there's a siege tank here. Siege tank's going to siege on up. Up, and that should just provide cover where the hellion could run into minimum range and there's nothing else out but not going to take advantage of that just yet and i mean a tank covers the mineral line you still could get burnt down though 
I mean, one or two big volleys, everything's going to go down, right? Blue Flame's on the way. Starport builds behind this as well as an engineering bay. Why are we building an eBay? Is that, oh, maybe worried about like Banshee coming in off the Tech Lab Starport? No command center at all. Levity's like, yeesh. Wow, that's a lot of Hellions, dude. Coming in there. I actually think it's even units lost, and it indeed is. And with the extra command center, the double meals dropping, Levity is way ahead, building extra tanks right now. It's going to cover this mineral line. Has a Viking out as well to stop any drops. I mean, this looks like it is perfect for Levity so far. But a fast-moving unit like Hellions that just roasts workers with splash damage, you've got to respect it. And oh, doesn't know they're there. Oh, no! Levity doesn't know there's Hellions just banking up in the corner of the main. So Levity might actually just unsiege and move down. Oh, Levity, you got to be careful. Okay, does see three more Hellions coming. Do not unsiege those tanks, Levity. Do not unsiege. The Hellions are just going to die for it. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, my God. He's actually clicking on the tanks, not the SCVs, though. What nonsense! You've got to focus the SCVs! Surely, finally, starts to at the tail end of that and does drag a tank shot there into the middle of them. Four SCVs go down <laughs> and a tank for 13 Hellions. A horrendous trade from one base Allen who thought it was a good idea to click on the siege tanks rather than the SCVs. Comes in. Ooh, can he get some more finishing damage? Kills one more SCV. I think he was trying to drag the tank fire into the mineral line. One base Allen has not expanded. One base Allen is a true friggin' god. There's people out there whose name is Zerg. That's their account's name, Zerg. They have a picture of a Zergling as the profile picture. You know what? They play Protoss. Pieces of shit who try to lie. People whose name is Cheesy McCheese Cheese. You know what they do? Three hatch before pool every game. There's a lot of people out there who are trying to get cheap, easy edges because they are bad people who can't win at the competition without cheap tricks. They suck. Not one base Allen. One base Allen goes into the game. His name is one base Allen. And he doesn't expand. He doesn't give a shit. No way. He's like, oh yeah, coming with your stupid Viking harass. Easy, mate. I'm on one base. Who harasses a one base opponent? <laughs> uh, the Hellions are all stuck behind each other. One base Allen showing just how good his micro is. Losing two Hellions there to the Viking. But uh, he's got a Liberator now as well. And he's going to swap the starport over. So he's going... Liberators also burn units. Like I said, he's going full burning units. This is actually great. So he's going to go Liberators sieging mineral lines. Unfortunately, there's missile turrets and Hellions. Now, Levity is so afraid that he's left two tanks in his main. He's only got one tank and three Marines on his, nat on his natural. Levity, you realize he can't get into the main without going through the natural, right? What are you doing, mate? You got to defend the natural. There's a shit ton of Hellions coming. So Levity goes from perfect defense to... Oh my god! He's locked his siege tanks in with a missile turret! They're stuck! They can't leave! <laughs> oh my god! One base Allen comes in with the most Chad siege up I've ever seen. Kills a single Marine before going down. Hey, that Marine didn't get burnt. That Marine actually got shot. It got blasted. Maybe they don't all burn. Maybe some of them do. I know they burn like queens, though, and Zerg units. Maybe it's 50-50. Uh, either way, that is ridiculous. Oh! One base... Okay, it's seven minutes. I'll allow it. He went one base super hard. I'll allow it. I won't shit on you too much. Now, there's a barracks floating in for vision. We've got two liberators coming forward and mass hellion. It's time to burn, baby, burn. The missile turret will kill these liberators, but two tanks sieging in range of the lib. Uh-oh, that lib's going to get a few more shots off. Can these hellions kill these tanks? Oh my god, the tank splash was pretty brutal. So the tanks are going to have to unseach. SCVs needed to have been pulled already. They needed to have been pulled to fight this from behind. But he's not done it. And now, if there's any units left, he's got nothing. Nothing's building. Where's the production? He's only got marines popping out. They don't have any upgrades. Marines are not what you want against this. Oh, no. The hellions on their, like, 17th attempt get 17 SCV kills. Now 21 kills. Even more and more coming in. The marines finally pop out and clean this up. And actually, it's not game over. It's not game over, guys. That's awesome. 30 SCV seems big. Guess what? Levity's still actually not too far behind economically. With double mules dropping and the third command, and it should be fine. But the Marines aren't A-moving. They're walking past. Where are the tanks and more Marines? Levity, where's your money? Levity just built a round of add-ons and two medevacs. Levity just spent all the money building two medevacs, a bunch of reactors and tech labs, and, and add-ons. Except, and not fighting units. And then move commanded the Marines past the enemy units. All you needed to do was stabilize. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, guys, I'm sorry. Before we finish up, I do want to just show that last fight one more time. Well, not the last fight, but the first fight, because that was such a disaster when those aliens went in. I just want to say a very quick shout out, though, to everyone who's been supporting it on the Patreon. And a big thank you over there. You, all your names are up on the wall of bacon, most of you. Big thanks to Max Erd, Colonel SC, and Pimp City, especially. And um, honestly, thank you for the support. Allow us to keep doing what we do. Don't go anywhere, guys. We are about to watch one more time the most fantastic big brain one base Allen attack ever. Check it out. Look at this. Look at this attack. Oh my god. This 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 was what I love here is if you actually you've got so many aliens. If you move right up in the mineral line, you're dragging the tank fire in the SCVs, and you just like hold position or you like shift click on some SCVs, something like that. Instead, watch this, let's slow it right down. Alan clicks on the tank. I'm like, no, and then spreads the Hellions out and clicks on the other tanks. And finally, when there's like, after the tank's dead is like, oh, okay, we should click the SCVs. It gets like crazy damage. It kills a bunch of SCVs there, a, a whole ball of wounded. Imagine if they did that with their first three or four volleys. Oh, but a win's a win. You burnt a heck of a lot of drones. Thank you very much for the games. We'll catch you next time. Goodbye and good night.